I was born in Cuba, moved to Spain and Puerto Rico, and came to this country for college and grad school. I initially, when I was young, I was an apprentice for a painter. I was interested in many fields, but certainly art, literature, and science, and thought that my path was to be a physicist, which was what I intended to do when I came to grad school in Northern California, Berkeley. But over time, the questions that I wanted to ask, the questions that I felt were urgent, seemed to shift away from science into, into the realm where art in the form of literature, in the form of painting and, and philosophy, were going to be more appropriate ways to approach those, those questions and, and reach towards answers. So I left, I left physics and then decided to, to pursue a career as an artist, which is um, something I didn't know much about. I knew that I wanted to paint and I've been painting for a long time, but I didn't know anything about being an artist in the world. I discovered Jeffers poetry when I was a graduate student at Berkeley. The way in which efforts have influenced me have been not only in terms of the poetry itself, the, the quality of the poetry, the imagery, but also the relationship between that poetry and the life of Jeffers and how he attempted to reconcile art and life in a manner that to me seemed worth taking into account in my own life. I was particularly moved by his attempt at putting together or responding to the day-to-day -day movements of love and family and companionship with larger movements of time and nature, the sea, and his attempt at, at, at looking at, at both the possibility of humanity to put itself into the larger order of things, that humans were not really at the top of this pyramid, but rather part of, of the whole experience of nature. I think to me that was really powerful and, and really meaningful to see ourselves in continuity with all things. And it's, it has been a point of a touchstone, a point of reference for me in my life and work. It's such an alternative offering to the way we tend to think of humans as so important and defining of all of experience. And I think Jeffers is a great example and reminder of the totality of all things that matter. This exhibition is special and different because it gives me the opportunity to bring my relationship, my conversation, my dialogue with Jeffers, which is something that I've been thinking about it for a long, long time, to the opportunity to actually be able to bring it here, uh, to Monterey, as opposed to any other place, makes it very, very special for me. My process of working quite often depends or is in conversations with poets and writers and artists of the past, and I, Jeffers have been somebody who's very important. All these things are part of my practice, and my own work depends on writing, on my own writings. The hope, I think, that, that people will take away from this exhibition is first the immensity and, and great beauty of, of things. Jeffers' idea of the beauty of things, that there is some, some richness to the world. The other aspect, I think, is the attempt of someone at a clumsily fumbling his way towards, towards meaning, that meaning is the ultimate goal of art in some manner. A third thing would be how somebody living today can be affected and influenced and touched by somebody who is long gone and, and the power and continuity of, of the process of inquiry and artistic pursuit that there will always be someone after that will, you know, learn and grow from these possibilities. So all those are our hopes and, and shine some light on Jeffers great contributions and his love for this area. I am Enrique Martinez Alaya and this is the fire of heaven. <laughs>